Hello everyone, this is Jeff and today let's talk about alerts and how to set up alerts to trigger other actions. About a half an hour ago I bought a thousand shares of Sears Holding and I paid 5108 for it. Um, today I'm doing the act, I'm a day trader and I'm going to want to like dump this at say like 52 and I think it's going to actually going to hit 52 today because 51 is kind of a has been kind of a support and uh, 52 or 53 somewhere around there is a bit of a resistance over the last couple of days so I'm thinking it's going to hit 52 so I want to set up an alert that's going to trigger an order so I go up here and I select the alert icon and I get the alert panel all I have to do is go over here, click New, give my alert a name, click on the Add button, and this is the actual alert that I'm setting up here, and I want to base the alert on price. Click the Next button. My underline is SHLD, tab out of there, select Stock. And my method, which is what price is going to trigger it, is there's a default which I think is last anyway but you have other choices here but last is fine with me for a high volume narrow spread stock the operator is greater than or equal to or you can select less than or equal to we'll leave it at greater than or equal to and the price that I wanted was 52 that's pretty easy click finish down here in the preview portion of the panel it's going to tell you in words exactly uh, what your alert is based on and what's going to happen when the alert triggers. Well let's go up to the audio tab first. Don't like a lot of noise so I'm going to shut off any sort of audio as part of the alert. Messages. The really neat thing that I like anyway is to send an uh, email or SMS message and this has to be set up in the account settings and I'm sorry I can't show you how to do that because for a simulated trading account that feature is not available. So for today let's just say that we want to display a message as a pop-up. Now here comes the neat part, the order part of it. I want when this alert triggers I want it to actually issue an order. So all I have to do is go over here and say add and SHLD and that is the stock and I am going to want to sell and it's a thousand shares and the price is 52 alright so a good rule of thumb is for you to make sure that you read this preview part of it here and make sure this is doing exactly what you want it to do Some, and you can either save it to activate it later or go ahead and activate it now and when you um, and it's just telling you here that the time and force which was a day it was a day order and it changed it to a good tail canceled and the alert is actually going to cancel it so all you have to do is click OK now let's go back to uh, trader workstation and we can see that there is a good tail cancel sell thousand shares at 52 limit but the little secret is over here uh, where it actually said this order is part of an alert and this order uh, will only trigger during regular trading hours so that's just to let you know that even though it looks like the order is out there it's not really out there I'm not gonna try to cancel it from this screen but if you don't like the alert you can go back to your alert panel and what you have to do is you have to select the alert tab actually here highlight the alert and you can either deactivate it or delete it from here there may be times when you have several alerts and there have been some situations where I've done that but as a covered call trader you know I, I don't really need alerts because I'm not you know that kind of a trader where I'm gonna have to really jump on something so ladies and gentlemen that is it for setting up alerts in Trader Workstation and setting up an alert trigger an action. Thank you for your time and have a good day.